Welcome to Dental Dynamic Staffing. Thank you for being a part of our amazing team. Now that you've completed your onboarding process, you are ready to be placed in a dental office. Timesheets are a very important step to our process. Submitting your timesheet is the first step to getting paid and getting paid on time. We want you to be comfortable with the process, so this short video should answer all of your questions about electronic timesheets. Before I get into the steps involved in submitting an electronic timesheet, I want to talk a little bit about the benefits of using electronic timesheets versus paper timesheets. For one, it's more accurate. No longer do you have to sit there and add up your hours, making sure that they're correct. The system will do it for you. It's quicker also. You log into your account, enter your hours, and hit submit. Documentation is a big plus as well. The system keeps record of your hours, so if you need to look back on that, you can do that as well. No more faxing. We all know that at times technology can fail, and fax machines don't always work. So one big plus is the fact that you don't have to stress about if a fax went through. We recommend you enter your hours daily, but if you're scheduled in an office multiple days, you can only submit your hours at the end of your last day of work. I will talk about this in more detail later in the video. As far as timesheet deadlines go, all hours must be submitted no later than each Monday at 10 a.m. the following week that you work. All you need to get started is an email address. Yahoo, Gmail, whatever you prefer, but you do need a personal email address. Once you have your email and you've been set up in our system, um, go ahead and check your email. Most likely we have already sent you login information along with step-by-step -step instructions. Once you have your account set up, you'll have access to not only electronic timesheets, but you'll also have access to view your paychecks, make any changes to personal information such as an address, phone number, or change your tax information. You will be able to view and print your W-2s, view current job assignments, as well as previous assignments. So at this point, you're probably thinking, okay, I see why electronic timesheets are beneficial, but how do I do it? Go to www.dentaldynamicstaffing.com. As you can see in the bar up top, dentaldynamicstaffing.com. And this is what our homepage looks like. You're going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. And on the right hand side, you should see account access right here. Under that, there is create an employee account. This is where you create an account on our website. The onboarding login link, that is a link you should be already familiar with. Um, that is where you did your onboarding application. Employee electronic timesheets is the link that we are most concerned with for this video. And dental practice login is not relevant to our candidates, our employees. Um, that is only for dental offices. So go ahead and click on Employee Electronic Timesheets, and that is going to bring you to the Employee Login page. This is where you will enter the username and password that was given to you via email. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the login information that was given to me. And I would advise you to copy and paste the password. Um, the initial password is random letters, so usually it's easier to just copy and paste, but I have mine written down right here, so I'm going to go ahead and type them in. I'm going to log in. Once you get in and you've entered the correct login information, you'll, it'll bring you to this employee portal and the employee agreement. I would advise you to, at this point, print this page and keep it for your records, as well as read it. Um, please actually read the employee agreement before you click on accept. Once you've read through it, you can go ahead and click on accept like I said, and it will bring you to the employee portal start page. You're going to go to this page when you have already worked for the day or for an assignment, and you're going to go ahead and click on fill your weekly timesheet. It will bring you to your open timesheets. So this should have the offices that you have recently worked at that you have not submitted hours for. 
So for example, if I worked at Test Dental Company, there should be an open timesheet for this, and you'll see a week ending date. That is going to be a Saturday. So week ending, Saturday, September 19th, um, this would be the timesheet I'm worried about. Our week goes from Sunday to Saturday. Okay, so your week ending date will be a Saturday. You're going to want to go to the right hand side and click on open. And this is where you're going to want to enter your hours. So this one has already been filled out, um, but I'm going to kind of re go through the process. Um, there will the date will already be filled in as well as the day, but you're going to need to click on add hours. These in and out boxes will be blank to start. And you're going to need to type in the hours as well as AM and PM. So if Tuesday, September 15th, I uh, say that I came in at 8.30, I'm going to type in 8.30, and I'm going to type in AM. You can hit tab or click to the next um, box, which would be your out time. Um, and this first out box is going to be when you leave for lunch. So if I left for lunch at 12.30, I'm going to type in 12. 30 p.m. Again, make sure you put in a.m. or p.m. and that is accurate. And go ahead and hit tab or click to the next box. And then the next inbox will be when you got back from lunch. So you're in the office again. And if I came back at 1 o'clock, I'm going to put 1 o'clock p.m. And then I can just click over to the next one. And finally, in the last out box, you're going to want to enter when you left for the day. So if I left at 8.10, that's what I'm going to click. And then the total hours will not populate an update until you click on update on the right-hand side. Once you click on update, your hours were up, will update. It will calculate your hours based on when you came in and when you came out and when you went to lunch. Now, I'm going to complete another example of a work day where I did not go to lunch. So if you did not take a lunch... So you worked 8 to 4 without a lunch. I'm going to go and add the hours just like I did. But this time I'm just going to put in 8 a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. I can't stress enough the importance of the a.m. and p.m. And then I'm going to make sure that these are not filled out. So you, if you don't go to lunch, you just use the first in and out box. That's it. And then you will update your hours. So I worked a total of eight hours without a lunch. What you will also see is that there is an employee comment box. There's also a client comment box, but you are not, that does not regard you whatsoever. Um, clients are the dental offices, okay? You are the employee, so you are concerned with the employee comments. This is an optional comment box. This comment box is where you would let the office know any positive feedback that you have. Um, if you really loved the office, you enjoyed being there, the staff was very helpful, um, that's where you're going to put those comments in. Again, it is optional. If you don't have anything, you know, out of the ordinary or positive to say about the office, don't enter a comment. Um, we want to be professional and this will be seen by the dental office. Um, so just make sure that you leave a nice professional comment or nothing at all. Then you'll click Save Comments. So I'm just going to write, I loved this office. The staff was awesome. And then you want to click Save Comments. And then your comics, well, comments will be saved with the time card and sent to the office when you submit. Um, so now I'm going to click Submit Timesheet because I only worked one day. I finished the assignment. I entered my hours. Now I can submit. We only want, we want you to submit your hours daily. If you work one day at one office, when you're done, go in and submit your hours. If you work multiple days at an office, you can go ahead and fill in your hours, but do not submit until your final day. So if you work Monday, Wednesday, Friday at Test Dental Company, we want you to go submit it after you work on Friday. Once you've submitted your hours, the timesheet will be sent to the dental office for approval. At this point, it can either be approved or rejected. 
and it's very important that you submit accurate hours. If it is approved, it will be sent to us at Dental Dynamic Staffing for payroll processing. No changes can be made at this point, so again, it is very important that you are accurate with your hours. If it is rejected, if the office does not feel that the hours are accurate, it will be returned to your account, and at that point, you must correct the hours and resubmit. So you will get an email that your hours are rejected, You'll need to go back in like we just did, correct them, and resubmit. This is extremely important in getting paid on time, that you pay attention and make sure that the accurate hours are submitted. I would also advise um, you being responsible for your own hours and your paycheck. Uh, give us a call and make sure that we got your hours and that they were approved. If you're not sure, just give us a quick call. We have no problem helping you with that. So that is pretty much all you need to know for electronic timesheets and how to submit them. We are very confident that this new system will benefit both our clients, candidates, and our staff. Please pay close attention to detail and respect all deadlines. Like I said before, timesheets are due each week Monday by 10 a.m. So Monday before 10 a.m. I want to thank you for taking the time to sit through this brief video. If you have any more questions going forward, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you again for being a part of our amazing team.